It's now possible to make a read-only PyCorsite display. So with this, you could have a public-facing display that um, is to only read-only, or you could have a read-only display for some of your users. And they'll still be able to interact with it like this. You could zoom in on a graph, you can change around some symbols, but you won't be able to add new symbols or create new displays. So this is in contrast to a normal PyCorsite display we see here, where there's a, a search pane on the left-hand side, there's a cart, um, we're able to create a new display, we're able to change the, the name of the display. And here we see a kiosk mode display. So there's no search pane, we can't change the name of the display, and we can't create new displays. And you'll notice the difference is the URL. We've just added a question mark equals mode kiosk. Or question mark mode equals kiosk, that's right. And that's the only difference, and it just shows up differently. Now, this isn't quite useful yet, because somebody could just come in here and edit the URL and get to the, the normal PyCorsite display. So what we'll need is a page viewing application, such as Microsoft SharePoint. So here we're going to see how to build this up. So first off, we are on a web parts page, and we're going to edit it and add a web part. So first off, we're going to insert a web part. And we're going to add a media and content. We're going to add a page viewer. It's called the page viewer web part. So this, this is just a generic Microsoft web part. OK, now, now that we have the web part added, we need to edit it. So we're going to go to that little triangle up there and go to edit web part. And you see there's just a link here. This is where we're going to put the URL in. So we're going to put the kiosk mode URL into that spot. So I'm just going to copy it and put it into the web part URL and apply. And now we see web parts is going to show the course I display through SharePoint. And here a, a user from the outside wouldn't be able to edit that URL so they won't be able to get out of kiosk mode. And right now I'm just going to edit the height of this uh, web part so we can see it all. 500, that should work. Okay. All right, and here it is. We got course site, and it is in kiosk mode. So now you could get, you could share this with SharePoint, and users can interact with it and use course site, but they can't create new displays or access PyTags you don't want them to. All right, so back on here, see you can change around the symbols to maybe a, a table symbol instead of a trend symbol. Users can delete pieces of it. They can edit the timeline. They can change it back to a trend. We can extend what what time we're looking at. So all the, a lot of the functionality of Corsite is still there. And if they ever want to go back home, if they ever want to get back to this parent display, all they need to do is refresh the browser. And since it was only in read-only mode, it'll go back to the original setting for that PyCorsite display. See, will you look at that? And there it is.